Welcome to Sportsman Tech Talk. My name is Jim Isaac. Today we're going to go over some commonly used terms that you're going to hear in the marine industry. All right, starting out, the first term we're going to cover is the bow. Um, we're sitting in the bow area now. This is going to be the area forward of your console where you have your seating, you know, your anchor locker or anything up here. It's this forward area of the boat. All right, the next term we're going to cover is the beam. The beam is going to be your widest point on the boat. Um, a lot of people will use this term when you're looking at building a boat lift or you're putting it on a trailer. It also refers to how much room you have up here as well. Usually a wider beam boat is going to have more room in the bow. Um, so you're going to be able to fit more people up here. It's just that overall widest point of the boat, which typically is right around your forward seating. The next terms we're going to cover are going to be port and starboard. Your port side is going to be your left hand side. Your starboard side is going to be your right hand side. An easy way to remember this is the word port also has the same amount of letters as the word left. So you can always remember that port, left, right, starboard. The next terms we're going to use are forward and aft. Um, forward would obviously be forward of the console. Aft is going to be rear, so we'd say aft of the console is our stern, which is our next term we're going to go over. The stern area is the area behind the console. You're typically going to find your rear seating here. You're going to find your cockpit that we're standing in now. And after that, you're going to find your transom, which is going to have your motor mounted to it. You're going to have your stern eyes on the back. You'll also have your boarding ladder, um, possibly some underwater lights, anything like that. But those will all be on your stern area and then your transom area. All right, now coming forward to the cockpit, we're gonna have our helm here. Our helm is gonna be our command station of the boat. This is where you're gonna have your steering wheel, your radio, all of your switching, your throttle. Typically, you'll have a battery switch here somewhere. Um, this is where, if you're the captain, you're gonna spend most of your time here is at the helm operating the vessel. So one last area that we don't wanna to forget to cover is gonna be the bilge of the boat. Um, we at Sportsman pride ourselves on having a very large accessible bilge. Um, so the bilge is going to be anything below the deck in the rear of the boat. This is where you'll find your pumps, your fuel water separator, you'll find your rear drains and shutoffs. Um, it's that, that rear area there where all the action happens under the deck. All right, so we're about to get out of here. Um, we're going to cover a few more terms once we get the boat out the water and on the trailer. So now that we're out of water, we have three more terms that we're going to cover. The first one's going to be dry weight. So the dry weight of your boat is going to be the complete empty weight of your boat when it comes out of the factory minus the motor. So just your hull, the console, everything in it minus the motor is going to be your dry weight of your boat. All right, so the next term we're going to cover is the draft of your boat. How much your boat's going to draft is going to depend on where your water line is down to the bottom of your keel of your boat, your keel being the bottom point of your boat. So when you see 12 inch draft, that just shows how much of your boat is sitting in the water at a static float. All right, thank you for watching. Um, these are common terms that you're gonna find around the dock, you're gonna find on our website, anywhere in the marine industry. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments. Um, please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you on the next one.